everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Outlaws. This is part four, and last episode we made so much progress. We started off with Brock's Gym, absolutely annihilated Brock's Gym with just our um, Turdile, which is now Croconaw. We went ahead and made it all the way to Cerulean City, as there was no Mount Moon, meaning we could just go ahead and zoom straight on through. However, that has led me to an awkward situation where we kind of bopped everything last episode. But this episode, we have Misty's Gym or Rival Battle directly north of us, and I don't know if we're a high enough level to deal with those, yet we bopped everything up to this point. So, as crazy as it may sound, I am more afraid of the Rival Battle up to the top against Douche. Uh, and I think we're gonna start off by going ahead and running into the gym. Like, I imagine he's up there, I don't think I can move too far up without him triggering the battle, so I don't want to go and check. He might not be there, I might be over paranoid, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a, puff, a couple of potions, and we are going to try and rely on Oddish for the most part. I think Oddish can kind of carry us. I think with like three super potions, I know it's not many, but it should be plenty. I think three super potions, we should be fine. We can also grab a couple of Pokeballs. Maybe I shouldn't be grabbing Pokeballs when I might need more potions, but I'm going to grab 10 Pokeballs for the Premier Ball and stuff, uh, as we don't actually get a Premier Ball. Never mind. Okay. But I did want to do that because we can catch a few more Pokemon, seeing as we're not really using Sand True that much. It's already kind of worn off its usefulness, but we'll see. We'll see. It's you. What do you want? You want to see Misty? Hate to break it to you, kid. She just got a new boyfriend. She isn't interested. Oh, you want to battle Misty? Go ahead, but watch out. She's really good at this. I see. Uh, we're gonna lead with Oddish, who's already in the front. I think we have a chance at this. That might be me being a little bit overconfident in my team because of the last episode, but I really do think that we have a decent chance at this. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna battle against Misty's new lover, the boyfriend, right here. And we'll see how well we do against the trainer. If we do really well against the trainer and Oddish just bops everything, I might just go ahead and go straight into the battle. It's risky, sure, but also, that's, that's part of the fun. It is part of the fun. Leer, that's fine. Maybe it's not fine. It depends on what the second Pokemon is, but that's fine for the horsey. Absorb does over half. That's actually crazy damage. Okay. This is only an Absorb, remember. Absorb is not a high base power move. Absorb is base power 20. It's not that good. If we had Mega Drain, we would be one-shotting these things, which is crazy to think about, because we're not even on par in level. So far, Oddish, go ahead. Go ahead, Oddish. The floor is yours. Do what you need to do. Level 15. Can you learn Mega Drain? That'd be great. I don't think it does, but it would be handy. It doesn't. Shelda. Shelda's a little bit scarier because it can actually get an Ice-type move like Ice Shard, but also I don't think it will. We're just going to absorb. Withdraw. Again, really not too scary. I'm feeling very confident about going into this gym. I think, I think this guy's just an idiot who's baiting me into the fight, but also I'm feeling very confident about going into this gym. And this time we outspeed him. We didn't take any damage. We didn't take any damage. Do you know how good that seems for the gym? I mean, there's still like the Goldeen trainer, I think, but still, still. That's just more XP. In my opinion, that's just more XP. Let's go, let's do it, we're doing the gym. Never mind. there is no Goldeen trainer. We just have Misty. Um. Who do we want to lead with? Well, we don't want to fight Staryu with an Oddish, so I guess we're leading with Oddish to fight the Staryu. I think it's a Staryu anyway. Let's do it. You're a new face. My name is Misty. I'm the gym leader here. I prefer using water for- What are you looking at? Just because I'm showing some skin doesn't mean you have to look. You're dead, you perv. You're pixels. You're just pixels. Calm down. <laughs> Staryu, okay. Okay. Uh... You know, I was thinking about the Pokemon and not so much about the level. Level 18? Kind of rough. Um, never mind. Never mind, I'm gonna stop talking. Every time I try and talk about something like, ooh, you know what, this could be kind of rough, they go ahead and do something like that, and then all of my worries are just completely alleviated. And it's honestly kind of relaxing. Water Pulse, am I gonna get confused? Because that would be awkward, that could put a problem. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna put any problem now. Okay, all right, we're just gonna absorb. We might genuinely heal back to full. So close, <laughs> so close to healing back to full. Got a super potion, now we're healed back to full. Okay, there we go, we did it, we healed back to full. 
We also have Poison Powder on this Oddish, so if we can defeat the Staryu and we can get a Poison Powder off against Starmie before it goes for like Confusion or anything, then it's just a time. It just becomes a time thing. And then even Sand Shrew, to be honest, becomes useful. There's a Confusion. Right, now things get a little bit tougher. Can we break through? We can. Okay. Okay, that's good. We know that one more Absorb will be enough. We actually got a low roll this time, which means it might not go into Potion range. It's not in Potion range. That could be good. It could also come back to bite us. It depends on if there's any more potions fused in this battle. We hit ourselves in Confusion. That's fine. We broke through last time. We hit ourselves once. It evens out. I'm okay with that. As long as we keep ourselves even in the Confusion thing, I'm happy. That's a little bit of damage. We snap out of Confusion. That's fine. So... I'm worried about another potion while we we try and whittle down this Starmie. Also, I'm worried about Confusion just one-shotting me, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You know what? Oddish, do your thing. Learn Stun Spore. Or oh, would it be bad to Stun Spore? That's a question. Uh, we definitely want to stay in. I don't think there's any reason to swap Oddish out at this point. Let's see. One, we're probably going to get one shot, so this doesn't matter as much as I'm making out to, but what would be better? Um, would it be Stun Spore or would it be Poison Powder? Lowering its speed could be huge. It's definitely going to outspeed all of my Pokemon, but Poison Powder gets damage, which a level 21 Starmie has a lot of defense compared to what my Pokemon can dish out. I think I'm gonna go for Stun Spore though. I think the speed drop is more important. Starmie, very fast. Swift, we might live that. We don't live that. We, do, we don't live that. Why did I think we could live that? Um, what would be best? Is it worth trying to get a Sand Attack off of Sand Shrew before anything else? I guess. Sand Shrew's gonna get one shot by a Water Pulse anyway. So it doesn't really matter what we do with it as such. Let's just try and get an attack off. Sandshrew, really not the time to be using it, is it? But oh well. So we have two options. We either go into Rasta first, or we go into Croc first. I think we go into Rat first and we lower its defense, and then we Mega Kick it. That could be good. I'm kind of glad I came in here first, because this is actually making this a tough fight, rather than just walking in here with like a bunch of level 20s and one showing everything. This is more fun. Tail Whip. Can we level Water Pulse? I hope we can. Can level Water Pulse? <laughs> yeah, okay, alright. Uh, level 14, maybe I'm a little bit underleveled. Maybe a little bit, but you know what? Crocodile's got this, okay? It's actually got this. I don't doubt for a second Crocodile's got this. I'm gonna live once, and then I'm gonna Mega Kick, and we're gonna be fine, okay? The best thing it has to hit me with is, to be honest, Water Pulse, because of the Confusion Chance. Uh, but Swift shouldn't do too much. We can Mega Kick, please land it, please land the Mega Kick. Croconaut, if there was a time for you to land your kicking abilities, it is now. Why do I say these things? I'm gonna go for another Mega Kick. We have Super Potions. Don't forget, we have super potions. Don't crit. Okay, alright, that's fine. Saying that out loud, always scary. We miss again. <sighs> you know, I genuinely think two mega kicks would take this thing out. There's a crit. It's not gonna crit twice in a row. Bold words. Bold words. Okay, see, we're fine. Don't confuse. Okay, we're fine. Is this over half? We could have probably been done by now if we just landed our Mega Kicks, which is very unfortunate. It means that actually, I was right to come into here, we just can't land the move. If we land another one though, we should be good. I kind of want to go for another Leer, just to make sure, but also that would be stupid. So I'm just gonna Mega Kick, please, Crocodile, land the kick. Come on, buddy, I need you to land the kick. Okay, okay, high roll, high roll, high roll, high roll. Oh, that hurts. That hurts to see. That hurts to see so much. I'm gonna scratch. Okay, there's no potion. Don't crit. Don't crit. This is the one time you can't crit. We're good. We're good. See? Easy. That I was- I never worried. I was never worried, okay? Easy peasy. 
easy peasy. Did we, did we do the gym first? Yes, we did. Was it tougher than I thought? A little bit. But honestly, I'm glad we did it that way around. That made the battle way more exciting. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Well, thanks. It's appreciated. You win, you get the Cascade badge, but if my boyfriend ever found out about how you treated me, he'd be a dead man. Anyways, this badge allows Pokemon up to level 30 to obey you and lets you use Kai outside of but Are you still looking there? I... Listen. 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 Ah. Your boyfriend is right here. Also, I beat her boyfriend first, so eh. I'm just kidding, bro. I have no chance to get a powerful, sexy girl like Misty. Yeah. So you are not her boyfriend. What a liar. He lied right to my face, and I believed him. I believed what he told me when I had no reason to. Unfortunate. Now we have a tougher fight. Because if I'm remembering correctly, Juch leads with a Pidgeotto, and we don't do well against that. <laughs> so uh, I guess we lead with Rattata. So I'm expecting generic Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, which might all be evolved, potentially. So we could be up against Ivysaur, Charmeleon, Wartortle. But because I don't know which he's going to lead with, the lead of my normal type is still the smartest, actually. So it's either going to be Pidgeotto if it's normal, or if it's the three starters, we're going to be fighting against, um... Well, one of the three starters. That's not douche. Uh... Hi Leaf, hi. I thought we were friends. I thought we liked each other. You don't need to oh, you don't need to bow me right here. You don't. Okay, you don't. I'm scared. Hey there, when I see a guy I like, I go after him. I like spending quality time with a nice guy. Battling is my favorite way to spend it. Well that's wholesome, but why? I don't oh no. I'm gonna get bopped, aren't I? What do you have? Four Pokemon. I also have four Pokemon. One of them is a level 12 Sandra. Pidgeotto! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's literally the worst Pokemon I could think of. That was- that's not good. That's really not good. Um, I'm gonna Hyper Fang. Gust? That shouldn't do too much. Okay, it does more than I wanted to, because we're level 14 and a Rasta, but still. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. I can Hyper Fang again. I feel like that's the best thing I can do. That hurts. That does hurt. I'm fine again, does okay. I'm kind of forced to quick attack and hope he doesn't quick attack, so I guess that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Uh, I guess we try and finish it with Sandshrew, but this really isn't good. I'm just gonna scratch and hope that Sandshrew, five levels down, does okay. It's not gonna take it out, I know that, but hopefully two does. As long as two takes it out, we're fine. That's a crit. That's scary. Can we get a crit back? <sighs> That's a shame. That is a shame. Sandshrew, buddy, old pal. I now have two Pokemon against four. That's not good. That's really not good. Just gonna water gun, I guess. We're gonna take a little bit of damage to quick attack, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, the three remaining Pokemon are Catapies. There's the crit. Turn too late, sadly. Three Catapies. Say it with me, it's a charm. Three Catapies. That's a Chikorita. That sucks. Wait, no! That doesn't suck. That's okay. We have Poison Powder. Is this gonna be a little bit stally? Yes. Yes, it is. Are we gonna win? We really should. Razor Leaf, that's four times resisted. Two. Two. <laughs> Predicted. <laughs> and we miss Poison Powder. Okay. Okay. Alright. And we miss again. Okay, all right. You know, sure. Two. Or if a crit, four. Nope, two. Okay. I think we definitely win this matchup no matter what. So this is kind of relaxing. Synthesis. That does change things a little bit. I'm still... Kind of forced to stay in, because I obviously can't swap my Crocodile into a Razor Leaf. That would be a terrible idea in every possible way. It does have Tackle, actually. Okay. I still think I'm forced to stay in against this thing, sadly. I just don't like seeing Synthesis, because I know for a fact it's going to use that perfect time on accident over and over again. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to speed this up a bit. Because this is going to be a slow fight with me slowly absorbing my health back, it Synthesising a health back. Two grass types. This is what happens when two grass types 
right. Okay, time to stop speeding up. That's a ponyta. We're swapping out. I ain't taking no embers. That ain't an ember. That's a flamethrower. That's scary. Okay, that's a crit flamethrower. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that tickles. That tickles. Tackle puts us into torrent range. So there's a positive. That's some good damage right there. I am kind of forced to go for my last super potion. These are some tough fights, to be honest. <laughs> These are some surprisingly tough fights. We're going to see flamethrower again? No, we're going to swap. Back into Chikorita? Back into Chikorita. Which will take poison, meaning if I land the Mega Kick, we're good. Do I believe that I will land the base 75 accuracy Mega Kick? I do, because I believe in my Pokemon. <laughs> it went for Tackle. Okay, alright, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. I'm just gonna Scratch. I think Scratch will be enough from here. I should just went for Scratch in the first place, to be truly honest. I don't know why I decided to go for Mega Kick. No point in it, really, is there? Uh, Zigzagoon. I think we're fine to just stay in. I think Croconore, once again, is just gonna body everything by itself. I feel kind of bad for every opponent I've been up against. <sighs> You've gotta land these kicks, though. Really gotta land these kicks, though. Croconore. 75%. Say it with me. 75. 75% chance to land it. Mm-hmm. Hey, we landed one. We did it. That's there we go. That's all it takes. <laughs> oh, my luck with accuracy moves is not good. You may have noticed. Um It's it's rough sometimes. It's definitely rough sometimes. But with this, Ponyta should go down to water gun. I don't think there's any way we potentially lose this. Even if crits were fine, we take out Leaf. And with that, we've had these two surprisingly tough battles go in our favor. So you know what? It's a victory. Good job, Croconaw. You did it all by yourself, honestly. I guess Oddish helped in both of them a little bit. Brasher and Sandshrew, though. Ooh. Wow, I can't believe it. I actually lost. A very attractive and a very impressive battler. I like Leaf. She's really helping my ego. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be a very good lover. Up ahead, there's an interesting man known as Bill. He has an unhealthy obsession with Pokemon, but he's not a bad guy. You should meet him. He's got some very useful information. Thank you, Leaf. Thank you. Oh? Oh yes, one more thing. Since we're friends now, I'd like to give you a gift. You don't have to give me anything in return. Here it is. Rare He's giving me candy? Is this... Is this a drugged candy? It's a rare candy. These are really valuable. I've never given any of these away before, but you're different. You're a special guy. I'll see you later. I like Leaf. I can't wait until this game decides to make her into a horrible golden digger that backstabs me at some point. It's definitely gonna happen, but at the moment, wow, this is great. This is really nice. I'm liking all these compliments I'm getting from her. I can't, I'm, I'm just not looking forward to the point when she's gonna turn and, and twist. And you know, it's gonna be revealed that she does this to everyone. That's gonna suck. That is gonna suck. I am curious if I can go into anyone else's house and see if they like react badly. My husband likes trading Pokemon, he's way too old for that crap. But I put up with it, because he protects me from bugs. Ah, relationships. Hello there. Do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? You agreed to trade for my Jinx. I don't have a Poliwhirl, but honestly, that wouldn't be a bad trade. That would be decent. What else do we have going on in this town? Because I'm sure there's some crazy things happening. Oh gee, it's a home invader. I'm not getting robbed again. I have Pokemon. Die. This is about what I expected. You know. A nice, nice old man with a pincer. A level 18? That's kind of scary, actually. Why is everyone so scary? I'm tail whipping. That might honestly bolt me. Rasta, I need to change my lead, don't I? I need to change my lead. Again, Croconaut, you're like the only thing that can fight this. This is actually terrible. Mega Kick, please land the Mega Kick. You've missed so many this episode. Okay, alright, that's something. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Honestly, Water Gun might do a little bit more. I'm afraid of crits. I'm afraid of the crits. The crits will hurt. I don't want to see them. Water Gun does decent damage. I don't think it puts it into a range where it KOs. I think I have to land a Mega Kick. I believe. You know, I've missed so many. Seismic Toss. That's okay. We know that only there's 18. I like that. Taking out 29 HP. Sure. 
We land the mega kick. There we go. There we go. All right, we just need to get off practicing. You know, it's a new move. You know, we only got it last episode. The more you practice the move, the more we get used to it. It's all good. Fight, that would have been very helpful for the Starby fight. It really would have, but sadly, we cut it now. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Scratch for it, because we have Mega Kick for our physical damage. Fight while doing a special attack. I mean, it'll have its uses. Can I steal your stuff now? You overwhelmed me. I did. Can I steal your stuff? I'm a home invader. Hi. Oh, you're not a criminal. My bad, bud. But protect yourself. But I am a criminal. I am an outlaw. The sexy music video is on. Booty, 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 booty. Sounds like that um, new Belle Delphine song that came out, you know? Because uh, she's back. Belle Delphine is back. If you don't know who Belle Delphine is, you're very lucky. You're very lucky. But the song was sung by Senzawa. And Senzawa makes some, some stupid but good music. So, you know, there's a positive. There is a positive to it. Still, booty, 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 booty. That is how it be. Is there any more houses I can go into? No, but I can speak to you. You're a trainer? Then please help beat that violent fuck in the slums. That's a good point, actually. Is there a slums around? There is. There is another slums. No one cares about your Pokedex? Go play in traffic, douche. <laughs> uh, it's a horrible thing to say, but I'll admit it kind of made me laugh. <laughs> My schools are too expensive. I might hire some fucks to steal one for me. Can I do that? Wait, fucks? Where they at? I want that. Can you steal a bike for me? I desperately need a Pokemon for protection. I keep getting bullied and beaten by jerks here. Damn. Then, catch one. Gym 24 Thunderbolt. That's such an early Thunderbolt. I could have grabbed this before the gym. I could have grabbed Thunderbolt before the water type gym. Just a thought. Just a thought. Honestly, that makes me kind of want to grab like I mean, I don't know what electric type I can grab early, but let's say there's like a Voltorb soon, I'll take it. You know, if I can just give it Thunderbolt, that'll be pretty strong. We will see. We will see. Also, I don't remember the last time I used an Electrode. It's been a while. It has been a while. Ghastly. I can't hit you with much, but what can you hit me with? Purse. We might actually have a decent lead for Rattata. Go on, Rattata. Go on, buddy. Go on, little buddy. Hit him with the iron tail. Smack him. We did it! Rasta! Rasta won a fight as the lead. Rasta, you did it. I'm actually so proud. I'm so proud. It's been so long since Rasta's won a fight. <laughs> we found this as a soda pop that, again, could have been kind of useful. What else do we have going on in these slums? What are you looking at, boy? I think I was meant to go to the slums first, judging by the levels that they have. I was probably going to come in here and then do the stuff I did. Instead, I think I went in, like, the order of hardest to least hard. I think that's what I did. I went to the gym, then I went to the trainer battle, then I went to a home invasion type scenario, and now I'm in the slums, and the levels are decreasing by the one. So... Ah, gotta love a good bit of directional sense. Or lack thereof, I suppose, would be a better way of putting it. Still, we're doing okay. Rattata looks like it'll win this with a quick attack. Give me the XP. Feed the rat. Feed the rat. Feed the rat. Give the rat the stat increases that it desires. A manky? Oh, okay, that we don't want to fight for. That's a little bit scarier. That we can just go into Oddish, I guess. Four? Four, I guess. I guess four. Same thing. Different word order. You know. We can absorb that. Don't do too much. I could do 20 damage. It's going to do 20 damage. It's doing more than 20 damage. I mean, did you really- It landed five times and got two crits? What is going on today? What is my luck today? That's actually crazy. That is actually so crazy. Five times and two crits. That's so much luck. Low kick, okay, that's fine. We've seen from the mad shop that that does nothing. I remember, I remember. Oddish, very good at countering low kick. Somehow it's actually doing okay. All right, as long as it doesn't fury swipe this next turn, I think we're fine. This is an interesting matchup because I don't think we should be winning this considering fury swipes does, you know, over half of our HP when it goes well. Two lives, okay. 
Okay. The trainer who hired the monkey, however, not so good. Not so smart. You know, he's uh, he's struggling a bit. Probably got a lot going on in his life. You know, he's in the slums. Not thinking about the battles right now. Level 17. Doesn't get me anything, though, does it? I want Mega Drain. Mega Drain would be great. Or Giga Drain if we can find a TM for it. I wouldn't be surprised if we just walked upon a TM for Giga Drain just in the next area. That would not surprise me in the slightest. Can I just go around and not battle you? Well, there's a battle there. Can I walk past? I can. What are you guys doing up here? You want services from my girls? Um, no. <laughs> yes? That's not what I said. I said no. <laughs> You're too young. I I said no, but I am going to go and speak to them because they seem like nice people. <laughs> my family in Johto has disowned me. Now I work for an abusive man where I have to perform sex acts with strangers for cash. Oof. Hey baby, I'm sexy and affordable. I'm good. Good good at battling? Good at battling? I'm sure she means good at battling, everyone. Don't worry. There's no way she would mean anything else. She's good at battling. Uh, TM35 Flamethrower. Again. That's a good TM. You get it pretty early. That's a very good TM. I know that's single use, which makes them a little bit less powerful, but also that's very early. Did I run straight past you? Yes, I did. I've been making tons of cash since becoming a drug dealer. I have a mansion in home. What a life. A mansion, you say? It's pretty impressive. So do you battle? You do. Okay. It was just off on the side. Woo! Battle time. That's how I feel. Woo! Battle time. Let's go. Let's get Rass to winning some fights. Crabby. Why does that Crabby look like it's trying to go into, like, a limbo pose? Is it trying to limbo? I think it's trying to limbo. I don't know why, because it's also got his hands raised up. That's not a good way to limbo at all. That won't help. That'll knock the bar right over. This poor Krabby. He doesn't quite understand the rules of limbo. It's a shame. We're gonna have to absolutely bop it in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> yup. <laughs> we, well, I, I, I said we were gonna bop it in a Pokemon battle. That's exactly how that turned out. Okay. I don't know where I was going with that, by the way. I am just very tired. Same old excuse as usual. I'm tired, leave me alone. I'm dumb and stupid and tired. No, it's the time map malfunctions in slums. It does, but there's not really a need to use the map in the slums ever, so there's that. Alright, what can we do here, though, to get a bike? Can we steal? I know I can't afford it, but... Okay, guess I can't do that. I'm so rich, I'm gonna buy a lot of bikes. You have money for a full price bike? No, you're so poor. It hurts, you know? I came out of the slums. I've worked my way up to this point, okay? These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. They are pretty expensive. Can I just steal one? Come on, this is Pokemon Outlaw. I am an outlaw. I can steal. Let me steal. I want to be a bad guy. You know, there's all these bad people around, selling drugs, prostitutes, etc. But I can't steal a bicycle? Even a tricycle? I'd steal a tricycle. You think I wouldn't go around on a tricycle? That'd be amazing. Not quite as good as an acro bike pulling wheelies, but a tricycle would be pretty entertaining if you could see yourself going around on it. Can I speak to you, little kid? I got beat up and robbed by thugs when I visited the slums. Police are too concerned for Team Rocket. They ignore common criminals. This sucks. I didn't speak to him before. Seems like he has a tough time too. So, I don't think there was anything on the left. I just want to double check before we leave. Uh, I think we just continue in that case. There's a Spiro. Do I really care about a Spiro? It's definitely a better flying type than Pidgey, but eh, eh, I'm just not feeling it. I think we just go into here and see what this person's all about. Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. No scrubs are allowed. No friggin' scrubs. Wanna learn crap about badges? Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? I don't, I don't care. Not at all. Isn't there a candy here? I'll, I'll click the right spot eventually, right? I know it's there, I just need to click the right spot, okay? It's been a little while since I've picked one up. Uh, but we have, a, we have a good couple of candies, actually, in our back pockets now. I think we have, like, three rare candies. If we wanted to, we could just make Croconaw so overpowered. But I think we'll just, you know, continue. 
Uh, it has also been half an hour, and I didn't realize it had been that long, because I am enjoying this game a lot <laughs> in comparison to, you know, the struggle that was Kaizo Emerald before this, so. I... Oh, you're level 10. That is a level 10 Cappy. That is not the highest level Pokemon I've seen. That is a little bit worse off than I thought. Yep, level 10 Weedle. At least Sandshrew is still on par with level, you know, that's something, that's a big positive. Good for him. Good for Sandshrew, you know. <laughs> Never gonna get used again, but good for Sandshrew. At least I can say it's on par and I don't need to train it. That's good. We one shot the map on as well. Keep going, Trash. Keep going. You keep doing stuff. And Kakuna, which again, just gonna hyper fang. Seems good. Well, if we take out the Metapod, I think we take out the Kakuna. They have very similar stats. Yep, that simple. That was a very easy battle. I feel like they, uh, they have some weird ordering for the battles right here. Maybe it was just me. Okay, I'll admit. I'll admit, starting with the gym. Obviously, I was asking to go into a tougher battle than, than I realistically needed to at the start. But still, you know, this episode was kind of fun. I had some fun. So, with that, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. We have healed up our team. Next episode, we have Nugget Bridge. We can make our way down to Bill, who is, you know, probably, like, leading an army of cannibalistic rat experiments or something, by the way that this game goes, which I'm kind of looking forward to. So, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!